A waste ground on the outskirts of the Polish capital, Warsaw. 58-year-old Stanisław is homeless. For more than two decades, this ladder has been the way he gets to his hangout, five meters underground in a heating duct. Around a dozen people live here, taking advantage of the heat given off by pipes that pump 100 degree water around Warsaw. We can wash here, clean our clothes, and even do our ironing. If we put some eggs in a pan, fill it with boiling water, and stick it on a pipe, they'll cook. Surviving in such conditions is risky, however. This man fell several meters and landed on his head. He was lucky to escape with just cuts and bruises. Several months ago, in the same place, another man died. The residents' top priority is to stick together. They can also count on hot meals handed out by the local police. They say there's no question of their going into a shelter where alcohol is banned and the timetable is strict. From 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., they throw us out and we can't leave any of our stuff here. How am I supposed to find a job? Here, at least, I'm free. The ducts crisscross Warsaw and pump hot water from communist-era coal-fired central heating plants to homes and offices. They are also part of an alternate world populated by several thousand homeless people. Forty-something Gosha has already spent a third of her life underground. She ended up homeless after a painful divorce and floods in her community, but the worst was yet to come. A few years ago I gave birth to a little girl down in the duct. I had a big red bucket and I brought her into the world. Then I wrapped her in a sheet and went up to call the emergency services. You actually gave birth alone, without any help? Yes. Gosha handed her daughter over to a Warsaw foster family of her own free will. Today she's trying to get by amid a vicious cold snap which has claimed several dozen lives, with most of the victims homeless. <laughs>